All right, motherfuckers. What the fuck is going on? Time for another fucking mobile walk and talk video. Hope you guys are doing decent. Friday, February 17th, 2024. And I want to give some shout outs to Drusfer, Mordant Red, That Go Metal Show, Barry Rich, Barry and Rich, the silent producer over there. Oath to the Go podcast with Juan, who I'm going to be collabing with. Again, Barry and Rich I'll be collabing with as well. Bruce Fur as well and Mordant Red. Also check out Shred Beard and Realms of Metal. Ed Romeo over there at Realms of Metal. You guys are all great. Like watching your stuff. If you're new, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications. And uh, I'm going to bring up my merch later on on the screen there so you guys can check it out. Even though this is a vertical video, it won't matter. Um, so for tonight, I want to talk to you about can metal be positive? And I tried to record this last night, but for some reason, the fucking video, I don't know what happened. Didn't record, I guess. Whatever. Fucking technology's a pain in the goddamn ass! But anyway, so can metal be positive? In short, no. Simply because you might as well look like these fucking clowns I'm going to bring up on the screen right here and work at fucking... Denny's or Starbucks. Um, metal has an image and attitude of spirit, and it has a fucking way of life. It has a way of thinking and being. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong to get inspired by motivational stuff, to be more positive in your day-to-day -day life, to have a better outlook on things, and a better attitude, which is fine. I do that. I practice that stuff. But when it comes to metal... It has to be dark and foreboding, misanthropic, vengeful, destructive, and chaotic. At least to me it does. And I'm not saying power metal and traditional metal definitely uh, do. I'm not saying they don't have their place because they do. What I would say is those genres are a little more positive when it comes to the lyrical themes and the music itself and the imagery and the aesthetics, ideologies that go along with those genres. Which is fine. I mean, I love some power metal and I love a lot of old school traditional metal, of course. But even that has its darker themes. It's not exactly happy, positive music. Um, all this fucking gay ass metalcore fucking bullshit certainly does. So does deathcore and uh, tech death, which is another fucking laughing stock of the goddamn neighborhood. They're all laughing stocks. I did a video about how much they suck. All those fucking genres are nothing but a goddamn dumpster fire! But, um... So I think with, with hardcore and, uh... Punk... Maybe there's some room for positive themes in hardcore. But even that music has its dark tonality. So does anarcho-punk and hardcore punk. So my whole point is... If you're not a happy fucking person, you got a lot to say and you got a lot of stuff to purge. And you got a lot of stuff to get out. Then why the hell would you be singing about fucking positive bullshit? You're not going to be. And you sure as hell aren't going to look like you fucking work at Starbucks or you're the tech crew for the Geek Squad. Like Tomb Mold and all those other fucking clowns. That's not how your band's going to look. That's not how you're going to look. And I'm just so sick of it, man. Like, I, I'm just so glad I was born in, in 1980. And, you know, I grew up with the real stuff, the real shit. I saw this genre's evolution from a very young age. I was listening to it from a very young age, like many of you old school metalheads were. Thank, thanks to having a pretty cool dad and an awesome uncle who had all kinds of fucking hard rock and metal. Um... I remember hearing Bathory, like I said, for the first time when I was like five or six years old, that Yellow Boat vinyl. And then I heard The Return at like nine, nine or ten, somewhere in there. And that was some of the craziest, darkest shit I ever heard. And I just was immediately drawn to that. Immediately. So, I mean, of course, I heard Metallica, Megadeth, Anthrax, Judas Priest, Motorhead, Ozzy, Dio. 
fucking Halloween, which I can't stand to this day. Um, <clears throat> you know, bands like that, Sabotage. Bands like that stuff, you know. But when it comes to what really hits me, that's the the dark, hateful, evil shit. You know, the, the sinister shit. That's what really gets me. And it always has, it always will. Uh, because it's of my attitude that if you've got something that you've gone through that's terrible, you're going to need the fucking music to connect you to those types of emotions so that you know that, hey man, like, fuck, there's somebody else out there that's making the music I need right now. And I think that's what it's all about. It's always been about that connection to me, not about fucking how fast you can play or how heavy your music is or you know, stupid fucking, look how technical my riffs are, man. Like, it's not about that for me. I don't give a shit about that crap. It's about the message for me. It always has been, always fucking will be. So, if you think metal can be positive, leave it in the comments. That's fine. That's your choice. I'm not going to tell you otherwise. That's your opinion. But, uh, if you agree with me, great. If you don't agree with me, I don't give a shit. You don't have to fucking agree. But I just don't think metal, in its purest form, is supposed to be this uplifting, positive fucking shit. You know, it's not supposed to be that way. So, but anyway, um, new merch available. Bring it up on the screen right now. Bonfire.com forward slash store forward slash music dash of dash destruction. Spread the plague, annihilate the human race. And... Raw fucking intolerance are the two new shirts. Thank you to my wonderful girlfriend. I love you for the help making those shirts. She's an amazing graphic designer, and I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to become a channel member, you're going to get access to exclusive content, review requests, within reason, banner reviews, promotions for your band, that kind of shit, uh, collaborations if you have a metal channel. And the Seat Podcast, which are exclusive content, which, by the way, I'll be putting a new one out this week. Been so fucking busy, it's been hard. But uh, I try to get as much on this channel as I can for you guys. And, you know, when I'm out walking from a buddy's, uh, from coffee with a buddy, or I am just want to get some exercise, I figure, pull up the phone and do a fucking video, because I'm never short on words, as you can see. And uh, for those of you who love the content, thank you. For those of you who hate it, fuck off. You don't have to watch. Um, <clears throat> and for the record, I'm never going to do any of those fucking videos where I'm reading hateful comments because you fucking people simply don't exist to me. That's how important you are. You know, for all you fucking trolls, I just take a shit and flush you down the toilet because your comments never show up and you'll never be allowed to fucking talk shit. That's the way it is. I don't have time for that. I don't give a fuck about any of you people who hate this channel or hate me. You mean nothing to me. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Have an awesome night.